All right, thank you very much for clicking on the video. This is Gulpain back with a, a quick PSP review, and this one is a TNA Impact Cross Line for the PSP. So this one, this wrestling game, um, I had uh, originally had uh, SmackDown vs Raw, or one of the WWE games on the PSP. But when I got the PSP first, I bought it off one of my friends, and he had like Football Manager, no, it was World World Tour Soccer, and. Um, one of the WWE games and I just I traded them into CX uh, because um, I wasn't interested in World Tour Soccer and I wasn't really a fan of wrestling when I got the PSP either so but um I did hear about this game because it had the character Suicide in it and it had like a story and um, with Suicide and then Suicide actually became a wrestler in TNA um, I'm not a huge fan of TNA I've only seen like a few of the pay-per-views maybe even that I think I've just seen like um what you know like uh, youtube reviewers reviewing tna pay-per-views like um osw review um i watched their um their arc on um when the the main event mafia were in it and they have like i think it's like six part video six like six hours long a uh, six part video of like the main event mafia and um i think that was after um this uh this happened here this phenomenon that happened where the video game character um, was actually in the you know the TV show, uh, the the weekly episodic format TV show of TNA Impact, um, or I think it was yeah it was called TNA Impact then it's called it's just it's gone back to TNA now, which is a questionable marketing decision, um, to call your wrestling promotion because TNA might have been okay like in the two thousands but not in twenty twenty, you know whatever whatever um modern uh, times it is now, um so this one again it's a wrestling game I, there's not a single wrestling game that I like. Um, I don't like those N64 ones either that everyone raves about. I just can't um, seem to control the characters or do moves and stuff either. It's mostly sort of like punch and kick. And I don't want to be doing that in a wrestling game. I want to be, you know, giving them like Canadian Destroyers and Death Valley Drivers and stuff. Um, and then like even getting in and out of the ring is difficult in a lot of wrestling games. And it's just, the controls just don't seem to be intuitive. Um obviously like you know i expect that people that are into these games they have mastered the control system and you know it's, it seems to be different um depending on uh, which uh, developer develops the game so this was developed so this was i always thought this was a midway game but apparently midway had uh, the license had been um the tna license had been bought by south peak games and uh they got someone else to develop it so then they developed it, or the Point of View Incorporated, I think developed the PSP one and Double Tap Games invented the Nintendo DS one according to my research, and by research I mean Google. Um, and then it was uh, published by South Peak Games. So I haven't heard of South Peak Games, apart from looking at the the box of this game and seeing their, um, their logo on it. But um, it does have a lot of the wrestlers in it. And uh, yeah, the what drew me to this was, obviously I'm a, I'm a, I'm a one player game, a person so the wrestling games that i played years ago like the the ones that are um the wwe ones they were good in two-player mode as like a you know a bit of a laugh um they weren't i didn't i never took them like as seriously competitive games um because the, because of the control scheme it just seemed to be so random and kind of punch kick heavy and i didn't like that um so the ones i played i wasn't a huge fan of what i did like in the games though was the inclusion of the the wrestlers and then they're sort of like their entrance their entrance themes and their sort of like their entrance movies and stuff which i thought was great now this one does not do that very well at all it goes for like a a kind of a cut down kind of cheap version of the entrances um so it's got like the impact zone and it's got the two tunnel things and then when the wrestlers come out they just you know they're not it's not the same as in wwe games where like you get like a full entrance and they, go, they walk into the ring and they stand there and they start doing their signature poses this seems to be just like a like whatever arena you're in or whatever place you are it's just like the same kind of entrance movie so not a huge fan of that at all um it's not very distinctive or it's not very i don't know i, I like the the presentation of the um the wwe games better they seem to focus more on you know what everyone likes which is like the not the actual wrestling it's the the characters and the entrances and the talking and all that so i know some people do like do obviously like the wrestling but um uh, for me it's just like the stories and stuff i think i find that um uh, very compelling uh, to watch um but yeah tna not a huge fan of tna booker t is my favorite wrestler so i picked him and i just picked a couple of the tna kind of people that are um, popular in tna like aj styles sting was very popular in tna tna as well for a while and scott steiner had like a renewed career in tna um when he did his math promo 
but um yeah not a huge fan of tna i didn't really watch it so i can't really speak to a lot of the wrestlers that aren't kind of wwe or AEW wrestlers um that are in the tna roster i don't really know them that well uh, i'm sure they're very good wrestlers um just um I, don't, I just i just didn't watch tna at all i didn't actually watch wrestling myself um like i watched it when i was a kid and then for some reason when i went to university i stopped watching it and then i only kind of started watching it again like a few years ago um i watched like one of the wrestlemanias and then i got into it again and then i it's kind of like there's a whole like internet community of like wrestling marks <laughs> or wrestling fans that do sort of like podcasts and do like um uh, youtube shows about wrestling so wrestling with regret is my favorite one i I'd, I'd watched that religiously i'd actually i watch his reviews like straight away after i watch a pay-per-view um brian zane brian lame uh so whereas other wrestling podcasts i don't really find them that good like tony shivani's one or um the wrestling observer one i don't like those at all they're too i don't know they take it way too seriously like whereas wrestling's supposed to be fun like so they take it way too seriously and it's just ugh, it's just a nightmare but um yeah tna across the line tna impact across the line it's okay the um the features in it the one player features are pretty good because you can do the um the suicide story mission and everyone else is it's okay it's not great so let me know what you think of it in the comment section below if you're a, a tnt uh, tna uh, fan let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video adios thanks for watching